hey guys let's learn the next control which is our slider control okay this is quite a simple control and let's learn how do we set up this specific slider control so here i have dragged and dropped i'll go to the style and i'm going to expand it now let's say i want to put some points here okay let's say the minimum value starts let's say you are buying a phone and you would like to select some price range now in that case all i will do i will set this minimum value let's say the minimum value starting from 1000 rupees and it can go up to 150000 rupees let's say okay so two different values i have set and accordingly the slider will uh, adjust the other thing if you would like to uh, set the increment okay how you would like to increment so you don't like to increment by 1 1 rupees right you would like to increment it by let's say 100 rupees or maybe 500 rupees so we'll put that increment now what would happen by that let's have a preview and see how does that appear so this is how it is appearing now every time you move it will move by 500 points you can see that everywhere you move it moves by that 500 points it's fine the other point i find a challenge is the if you see the value that is shown is not appearing completely right the small balloon message box is not able to you know have the entire value inside it so this is a feedback which i have submitted so hopefully we might see some kind of changes here now the other thing let's say customer has selected certain value let's say i have selected this value now this value um, how do you carry it forward right for for your process to uh, for processing it later now for that all i will do i'll select this i'll go to the event and there is something called value changed i'll create a rule now here i am going to use the set value rule okay and in this one i will use a app variable let's say you create an app variable here and i'm going to click on this variable a which is going to contain the value now here we have to set the slider value click on equals to and here if you see um, the slider dot value is there okay it will be there under the page here under the page you will have the slider that you have dragged and dropped that will be shown here just drag and drop it here so what would happen by this dynamically during the runtime while you are changing the value of a also will change now how do we test that now to test it let's have another slider if the value is really coming or not so i'm putting another slider and i'm going to expand this and here in the value binding field of the slider i am going to put so this will become as an input for this slider okay so i am using a so whatever the a value is it's going to change dynamically during the runtime if i hit on preview now now look at it let's say i am going to change uh, one thing i did not do is putting the min value and max value for the uh, other slider so let's set that up let me put 1000 here and max value as one lakh the similar uh, this one i'll put and then i'll put the increment value as 500 fine so now let's see how is it working now if you see if i'm changing the value of this even this is changing do you see so that means the value is getting carried over to the variable a and the variable a is becoming acting as an input for the second slider you can see that right so um, this is what the basic uh, functionality available with the slider uh, sometimes you might look for a different look of the slider so those things are currently not available maybe in the future there could be more improvements coming in but again as of the uh, at the moment this is what is max available all you can do is um, see uh, the label you want to keep it side by side or up you know top and bottom so these are the couple of things that are available at the moment with the ui path app slider maybe in the future we might see more improvements coming in in the upcoming releases so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye